guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my holy grail products that like I absolutely cannot live without. These products I use day in, day out. I count on them. Like I need them there for me. And so I, I wanted to do this video a little bit different than a monthly favorites video because I like never talk about these products. And it's like, but why not? What, what's happening? Because I just feel like it's a given and I don't know, it's not like new, fun, exciting, something I've been loving just for the month. So I don't incorporate them in my monthly favorites normally. It's just like my holy grails. I don't know a better way to explain it. Look at this girl. You look at her, she's so funny. Hey, isn't she beautiful? What do you see? Also, I got my hair. I'm so excited about it too because my hair was like all the way down my back. It was so freaking long and honestly, it was just so much to take care of and it was heavy and I got to the point where I was just wearing it in a bun every single day because I, I didn't have the time to deal with it. It's just been crazy lately. So I honestly wanted to like cut my hair like up to here at the hair place and they were like, <laughs> No girl. They said that we could gradually get it that short if I want to keep going. They thought I would have regrets. I might would have had regrets. I don't know. But here we are and I got it recolored and all. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave. That way you, it can notify you when I upload new videos. <laughs> I don't want you to miss out. <laughs> You're like, okay girl. <laughs> Jumping right in, let's get started. The first product I'm going to mention is, it's like I don't know what to grab because I love them all equally. <laughs> What I want to mention is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the loose translucent powder, and this one is the baby version. I have the baby version because I went to a photo shoot and like eight people had the same powder, and then I ended up with none at the end. <laughs> that sucked really bad for me. <laughs> Someone went home with two. <laughs> I already ordered another one. <laughs> I've been using this stuff forever in a day, and let me tell you how I use it and how much I love it. Well, of course I bake my face with it. You guys have seen me, if you watch any of my makeup tutorials ever, you've pretty much seen me bake my face with this. And baking your face is really nice for making your makeup last longer, first and foremost. It also helps with your concealer, make it not decrease, smooth out the skin. You can even sharpen your contour if you bake your bottom jawline. It's really amazing for that. It's not like that stark white translucent powder that like Make It Forever makes where it's definitely gonna flash back on a camera. This one reminds me more of like a found, loose foundation powder that's the shade Ivory. Like that's how this one reminds me. So therefore it's not gonna flash back on you. Um, I love this shiz. Like I would eat it for breakfast. Huh? I don't know why, I just would because that's how much I love it. We're getting so weird. We're always getting weird in here, okay? Get oily or weird or greasy during the day, like right through here. I will literally, I'm a little sponge, get some on my sponge and just like, I get greasy right here too. It's because I talk a lot. Dab it and it literally just softens the skin and absorbs all of that oil. It's just like a miracle product and this is like an absolute for me. While I had the next product in my hand, I was going to mention to you guys the Beauty Blender. And this is the original Beauty Blender. And whenever these first came out, I kind of refused to buy one because I was not going to pay $20 for a freaking sponge. I was like, it's a sponge, people. But then <laughs> I realized like everybody else is the best sponge in the world. They make these so soft and dampen them. And of course, we all know the magic that they can create. Just blending out the makeup flawlessly especially during the winter time when the air is a little bit more dry and we have our heaters on they actually retain a little bit of moisture into your skin by pushing in a damp beauty blender to blend out your makeup so in the summertime I don't use them as much I, I tend to use my makeup brushes to blend out my foundation but in the winter time I'm all about it because it adds a little bit of moisture blends out seamlessly but I use it you know with um, my translucent powder and all that jazz during the summertime. <laughs> I will tell you if you store them or tuck them away in your beauty drawer, your Alex 9 drawer, whatever you're packing while it's damp, especially if you live in humid states such as on down south like Florida, Alabama, Georgia, you know what I'm talking about. They can mold. If you see little black dots appearing on yours, baby girl, light it on fire because it's got mold on it. Honestly, like I would I would almost like set mine in the sunlight to dry if I lived in a humid state because the air is so wet, it just can get mold really easy. Even if you live in a dry state, you know, it can still get mold and we don't want to be pushing mold into our skin. <sighs> Next product I have to mention to you is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I have been using this thing since high school. I was actually using Painterly in high school, but I've been using MAC Paint Pots 
since high school because I find that they are the best eyeshadow primer on the market. It's a little bit different of an eyeshadow primer than like the Too Faced or the Urban Decay, the liquidy ones. This one is more like, almost like a texture of a concealer. And also I like that it is a thick texture because it covers any veining or redness on the eyelids. All of our eyelids aren't just perfect, so you know, they need a little help. <laughs> I love how if I swatch anything with my middle finger, all my comments are, she's flicking us off. Come on now. If I was going to flick someone off, I would do it. I would just do it. I wouldn't try to be sneaky about it. I'll just hold my hand up like this. It has nice coverage and I find that I never have an issue. I really truly never have an issue with my eyeshadow running or bleeding or smearing. And I owe that to my MAC Paint Pot. And so it's like, since it's such a good product, why change it? You know, you never have any problems out of it. And I also use this to carve out my eyebrows, especially whenever they get a little cray cray in the bad way. You know, you need to sharpen and clean that area up. I'll take a flat synthetic brush and just clean up my eyebrows. Honestly, like... If they took it off the market, I am not 100% sure what I would do. Like, would I just, like, quit YouTube? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The next product I want to mention to you guys is this March Jacobs Little Eyeliner. And this is a sample one because tragedy struck at my household. I just dropped that and I'm just, like, going to keep talking. I went out of town and left the lid off my Marc Jacobs Eyeliner, my big one that I paid a lot of money for, and just let it setting there on my desk like this and let it dry out. <laughs> I watched my money go down the toilet whenever I got home and discovered it was laying there and it had died. I was like, okay, well, let me just shoot myself in the foot. <laughs> Anyways, this one is like a sample one I got in like the birthday present at Sephora. And this is the best eyeliner for your waterline because it will not budge. I don't care how long you've been wearing it. I've probably been wearing this. You see my waterline still black? Am I, I mean, it just doesn't budge. I mean, and you, that's really hard to find. This is dang sure worth your money because seriously, I put it in my waterline every day and I have had this for months. It is a holy grail product. It's something I keep on my desk and reach for it every single day. Next product is the Duo Lash Glue. This one is in dark tone. So it's the Black Lash Glue by Duo. This is a drugstore brand. You can get it like at Target, the drugstore side of Ulta. It is so freaking good. And let me tell you something. Yes, my lashes have come loose with this before and I am okay with that because I've used the House of Lashes one that a lot of people swear by and the issue I had with that is well my eyelashes would never come loose but the, it would rip out my lashes and I couldn't get the goop off of my eyes no matter how much makeup remover I used. I ended up sitting there in a magnifying mirror every day before I did my makeup picking lash glue out of my lashes and I was losing lashes like wildfire. It was crazy so I was like not worth it, absolutely not so I went back to this and I just have no problem. Like, it's there's never any gooped up in my lashes. Now, have you ever been, like, out wearing false lashes? And the little inner corner of your lashes, like, flickers up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you're talking to your girlfriends. And they will look you into your soul. And not tell you that your lashes come loose. That's not your friend. So I was actually at a Maybelline event. And Kristen Dominique walks up to me. She's like... Your, your inner corner's a little lifted. I was like, oh, really? I was like, let me see. Close your eye. I was like, babe, you can't tell at all. It looks amazing. I promise you don't need to fix it. And she was like, not my inner corner. Your inner corner has come loose. And I was like, <laughs> she had her lash glue with her. It was all good. But anyways, funny story. You know, just thought I would add that in. But yeah, let's do a lash glue. Come through. Oh, uh, so affordable and so good. Moving on. I'm making this video as long as I possibly can. I don't know why. Moving on. MAC Fix Plus Spray. <laughs> Look at this empty bottle. I have bought more MAC Fix Plus Spray than I have probably bought tampons. <laughs> okay, that's like too much information. But this product is so amazing. Of course, for setting your makeup. It enhances the shimmeriness of your makeup. I mean, I have my highlight on today, so I would spritz it like on the sides of my face and enhance my highlight. If I've had my concealer on for a little bit, like the um, concealer before I blended it out, I will spritz my beauty blender with it and it helps to blend out the concealer. Your shimmery eyeshadows, you can spritz the brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus spray before or after you put it, the eyeshadow on your brush and pack it onto the lid and it will enhance the color of your eyeshadow so much. So this is just like an all-in-one absolutely amazing product. And people ask me all the time like, well, do you know anything that's similar? And I don't know anything that's even a little bit similar to this. And I am like dupe queen. Like if I have a dupe, I'm going to find it and let you know about it. But this, 
uh uh this is also a little bit different than like the all-nighter chill setting spray by urban decay because that's like a lock in your makeup setting spray this is more like an enhance your makeup setting spray okay moving on this one is kind of random but you need to know about this is the tweezer man ultra precise tips so i paid 30 dollars for this little guy at sephora and i literally like saw it in Sephora and was like dang I need some good ass tweezers and so because the brow hairs are playing me it was $30 and I literally like circled the area like a shark like should I do it that's really stupid to pay that much but should I do it and I just did it and I've never looked back like it was just like the greatest day and I use them every day either to pluck a straight hair or to apply a lash or anything. I mean, just anything you wanna do with a tweezer. Honestly, they're worth the money and that's kinda of crazy like saying $30 is worth tweezers, but these are worth the money. Next product I want to mention to you guys is the blending brush. This is the E25 by Sigma Beauty and like I said, if you ever watch one of my makeup tutorials, you've seen this brush featured. I can't do my makeup without this brush. I might as well be doing my makeup with my fingers. This brush, I can just about complete an entire tutorial with it. If you buy a brush set from Sigma for eyes, I wouldn't buy it without the E25 included. Or if you're wanting new makeup brushes and you don't know where to start, well, start with the E25 from Sigma. It is a flat blending brush. I like to normally put color on one end of it and then flick it up and just blend out that crease just like that. I have medium sized eyelids. They're not tiny, but they're not huge. So it's a good medium blending brush. And I like how it's flat. So if you can see how it's like flat instead of a rounded blending brush, because I feel like it lays flat and you can soften up and blend the crease out better. I'm stepping on a bag of chips. That's embarrassing. Why is there chips down there? Next product is a lip product from Jouer. This is, I have three of these, and I know I have three because if I lose one, I'll lose my mind. I have one in this desk, one in my purse, and one by my nightstand. I've always had very dry lips, and it's because I don't drink enough water. I could just drink more water and not use this. <laughs> But you know, anyways, that's off subject. I love this stuff. This is the Essential Lip Enhancer. It also has stuff to plump your lips, but I am actually allergic to chapstick. So like chapstick and Carmex and all that doesn't really work for me because it makes me have a rash all around my mouth. Like crazy. It's it was a really awkward time for me in high school when I didn't know I was allergic. Just let me just put it that way. But this I am not allergic to. Clinically proven to increase the fullness of your lips. So yeah, you, if you just keep using it and I use it day in, day out. Even if I have a lip liquid lipstick on and I'm out and my lips are just too freaking dry, I will take a dot of this on my finger and just apply it and my liquid lipstick will look a little glossy. It just like helps my lips so much. All right, so we're almost finished. Let me keep rambling a little bit more. So I I have my all-time holy grail lip product and it's three products and I I never really wear them alone but I wear them all together if I'm not wearing a bold lip this is what I have on my lips I have them on right now I keep them in my purse I actually went to get them out of my purse to put them on for the video and they're going straight back to my purse but first is Stan Sandstorm this is um, NYX liquid lipstick and it is a deeper brown color and I like to apply it all over my lips first and then I will take I'm nude by Jeffree Star and just apply it in the middle and then go and then I'll take my ring finger and pat it out. That way the edges aren't rough. And it kind of gives the illusion that your lips are a little bit more plump and full because they're like ombre out. Makes you look like you got nice butthole lips. And then to top it off, I just add a little bit of Hella by Tarte. This one is their nude lip gloss and it's so good. It is not too goopy. I don't do goopy lip glosses. Mm -mm. This is my holy grail lip combo that I can't look out. And lastly, as cliche as it may seem, <laughs> the Larly X Violet Vows palette is most definitely a holy grail to me. I've been wearing this palette for two, two months straight. Literally not one other eyeshadow has touched my eyelid. If you guys don't know, this is the palette I created with Violet Boss, which launches June 10th for pre-launch and June 23rd for the full launch of it. I have it on right now, of course. I am obsessed with it. I'm in love with it. I've been seeing people do videos with it, and it makes me so excited. And thank you guys if you've done that. And thank you guys for tweeting me it and all that. And it, it, I'm so excited about it. My first tutorial with it will launch this week, probably this Friday, you will see my first tutorial with it. And it's, it's gonna be amazing. I'm so proud of it. I feel like me being able to use this and this alone for like two months straight literally proves that you can create so many looks with this palette, not having to reach for other colors because it has like all your transitions and all your different mattes and shimmers that you will need 
to slay the day. So how can I not mention this? Like how? That would just be dirty and wrong and a lie. I love this thing. It is everything, just everything. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for being here and watching. I love you guys. And leave me a cool comment down below, you know? Let me know what's happening, what's going on in your world. And I'll see you in my next video. Be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.